Thank you for having me. I do not take lightly the call to show up, the call to speak up, the call to deliver a message that's been on my heart for a hot minute now. Now, I took my time writing this speech, so I'm going to make sure I deliver it right. Because I got something I've been wanting to say for a long Just like Kamala Harris, I too have been the underdog. I've been underestimated. My success belittled and discredited. Let me tell you something. Let me tell y'all something. Women have to work 10 times harder, perform 10 times better, and still people question us how we got to the top. I can't stand a bully. But just like Kamala, I always stand up to one. All the time, I'm ready for them. Yeah. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I wasn't going to vote this year. I wasn't. But Kamala well, Harris joining the race, she changed my mind completely. I did not have faith on any candidates until she joined the race and said the things that I wanted to hear, that I want to see next in this country. All right? I believe in every word that comes out of her mouth. She's passionate. She's compassionate. She shows empathy. And most of all, she is not delusional. Yeah. Kamala recognized that this country is at risk, that the economy needs to get stronger, that the cost of food and the cost of living is too high. Damn, it's even high for me. I believe her when she says, under her, buying eggs and milk won't break the bank. Because she's going to pass a ban on price gouging on groceries. And she told me that in my face. So she better not lie to me in my face. Yeah. I believe her when she says she will make housing more affordable by providing Americans with $25,000 in down payment assistance. Yeah. Yeah, hold on, I got more. Yeah, yeah, she's promising a lot. And I believe her when she says she will provide a tax cut to 100 million middle-class Americans. That's a lot of Americans! And that includes $6,000 for parents in the first year of child's life. Y'all remember when they used to do that? Y'all remember when this country used to do that? Yeah. And speaking of health care, let's talk about it. Let's talk about health care. Did you hear what Donnie Trump said the other day? Y'all heard what he said? All right, I'm going to tell you right now. Let me, get, let me drink my water. Yeah, stay hydrated. He said he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. He said he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. I'm repeating it. Donnie Dunk, please. Protection for women, especially if we're talking about maternal and mental health care, is in telling them what to do with their bodies. It's supporting them and giving them the care they need for what they choose to do with their bodies. I don't play that. People like Donald Trump don't believe women deserve rights. And when those rights are taken away, they are nowhere to be found. When a mother's going through postpartum, he's not there to hold her hand. When a child is in foster care, or in a shelter because their mother is not mentally stable or financially stable to take care of them, they're not there. The people are start planning, yeah, yeah, they're not there. They're all gone. Those people are start Planned Parenthood, screaming at women's faces, they don't be there when women go through stuff. They don't. And everything is possible. Shout out to the single moms out there, but it's hard. <clears throat> Trump says he's going to protect women whether they like it or not. Well, if his, de if his definition of protection is not the freedom of choice, 
If his definition of protection is making sure our daughters have fewer rights than our mothers, then I don't want it! I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. We all knew Trump was a hustler. But hustling women, out of, and I'm a hustler too, yeah. But hustling women out of their rights to their body is nasty work. Hustling Americans out of their hard-earned money by selling Trump watches, Trump sneakers, and Trump Bibles. By the way, the watches is $100,000. Yeah, yeah. Made in China, another country he discredited, is nasty too. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, wait, is Milwaukee in the building? Is Wisconsin in the building? Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Do we really trust this man with our economy? Our economy! A man who cares only about making himself rich and cutting taxes for his billionaire friends. I don't even get a tax cut. Today is your wallet. Tomorrow, he'll be conning you out of your health care rights. And that's a fact. I want you to hear that again. Today, he's hustling you with the, oh, buy my sneakers. Tomorrow is going to be your health care rights. He's going to take it away from you. He's going to snatch it. <laughs> Donald Trump talks about how he has a concept of a plan. But America, the only concept of a plan he has is a plan to hustle you. Yeah. Because we know what he's really setting, setting us for. He's selling more than watches and sneakers. He's selling us bigotry, misogyny, division, chaos, and confusion. He wants us to hate each other. And it's going to cost you your money, equal opportunity, affordable health care, and any rights you thought you had for your body. He gonna take it from you. Listen to me. He gonna take it. Thank you. I love you too. I'm not giving Donald Trump a second chance. No, nope. I'm not taking any chances with my future and I damn sure and taking no chances with the future of my children. All three of them. All three of them. I'm not giving him the chance. You're not giving him the chance. Yeah. I'm with Kamala. I believe in her. In America, I believe in you to turn out on Tuesday. Turn out and turn up on Tuesday. Turn the page and let's win this thing.